What do you guys think you need to start a business? So I mentioned this, idea. How many of you in here think that if only you had the, a, good, a good enough idea, you could start a business? How many of you put them here? Anybody that doesn't think that? Okay, Pascal, Calvin, Josh, TJ. Okay. Um, I didn't come up with any of my product ideas. Any of them. In fact, all the ideas that I came up with failed hard. <laughs> hard. I'm like, I am done coming up with ideas. I'm just going to give, I'm just going to ask the customers what, what their problems are. And I'm going to become problem focused and I'm going to solve those problems. So a lot of the problem with a lot of the, you know, a lot of your ideas in college is they're all like, they're kind of related to you in college, like whether you want to share tests with your fraternity partners or like you want someone to deliver condoms to you at 12 o'clock, so you deliver a delivery service like at Iowa State, or, um, or like, I don't know, um, tons of different like random, like, you know, use textbooks, exchanging textbooks exchange, like you, you're very focused on solving your own problems as college kids, and this is, a, this is a, an issue, I think, um, because, I don't know, I don't really like solving college kids' problems, like from a product standpoint, Definitely talk with your mindset all day long, but I like to solve business to business problems. I think it's the first thing you guys should be targeting is businesses, so like accountants, real estate brokers, uh, attorneys, dentists, plastic surgeons, photographers, insurance salesmen, all the list goes on and on and on, all these different niche industries you can target. Um, so what, what we do, what I teach is for people to ask questions like, what are your problems? Like, what are your biggest issues and frustrations on a day-to-day -day basis? So, um, I have this entrepreneur roundtable, and um, some of the things that have come up with one guy targets. Okay, so you guys think you need an idea. This is not true. All you need is a market that you can talk to and cold call and email and ask them what their problems are. They will tell you your problems, and then once you have those problems, you can start to create a product. So this one guy, he starts targeting music band managers. He starts asking about their problems. He finds out that they have to publish the tour dates for bands like on Facebook, MySpace, Google+, their website, all these different places. So every time they have a new music band date, they gotta log into like six different sites and update all this stuff. And he's like, huh. So he, it's pretty obvious where this product might be going, right? You add the date in once, you hit publish, and it goes to all the sites. Music band managers are flipping out over this. They're gonna pay for it. He's building it right now. He never started building that product until he had paying customers in the first place. So the one thing you need in business is a paying customer. I'm going, to, I'm going to skip the brainstorm. You guys are going to say you need an idea, money, a business plan. I, like, yeah, all those things. Experience, credibility, mentors, perseverance, guidance, all, all that stuff. No, you need one thing to have a business, and it's a paying customer. That's the only thing you need. So why not start talking to a customer who could pay you first? Why not start talking to a customer about the problems they have and ask if they would pay for it? Hey, real estate broker Dave, um, are you looking to recruit any more real estate agents in your company right now? Uh, yeah, Dane, duh. That's a rhetorical question. Well, you know, some brokers aren't. Some brokers are just happy with 30 agents, so I didn't want to assume that. He's like, oh, yeah, okay, I guess I understand. Um, so are you looking to get any strategies to retain and keep your agents in all the time? Are you looking to uh, maybe add any more profit centers to your business to make it more profitable? Yeah. Would you be interested in what some of the best brokers in the country are doing to do these things? Yes. Would you pay for that? Yes. Thus, the Broker Roundtable monthly interview series is born. Do you see how long it took me to create that business? like a few phone calls and just asking those questions. Um, so for the music band manager, this is awesome, right? He ta talks to him, the tour band. Um, it was funny because I, I teach, uh, the first concept I teach for entrepreneurship is idea extraction. Don't come up with your own ideas. Stop now. Just extract them from a market. It's so much fun. Honestly, it's the most liberating thing in the world to sit across from someone and be like, what are all your problems? And you just write them down and you're like, you're not even focused on how to solve them yet. You just, ha you just have them talk about their problems. I had, um, a roommate, and I don't know what compelled me, but I was just like, he's, he works at Come and Go um, as a green specialist, and I was like, hey, is there anything I could do to help you to make more money? And he kind of looks up at me, he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll do anything you say. And I was like, oh, cool, um, well, what, what, are you, are you, what are you passionate about? And thanks for laughing at that, Josh. He was the only one that laughed. I like you the best right now. <laughs> um, uh, and I was like, what do you want to do right now? And um, he's, he's like, well, I'm really passionate about green stuff. And he had all these ideas about like sustainability and all these green products and all this and that. And all these were his ideas. And I was like, whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. The only way you're going to make money on this is if you have a customer that pays you with an idea. So why don't you start with a, a customer and ask them what their problems are? And he's like, okay, well, how can we target 
people that are like into sustainability. And I was like, well, how about you target people that own a Prius? Okay. So he, he, he thinks about all his friends and he sets up four interviews with people that own Priuses. And he sits down with them and he starts asking them about their problems and things they would pay for. And these Prius people, they're very uh, um, proud people. So they, uh, they, um, they don't like things like, he would try and pitch ideas to them and they're like, no, no, I could figure that out. What about this? No, 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 I could figure that out. He's like, well, so what are you frustrated with on a daily basis? Talking to my friends about sustainability, trying to convert them so that they go to sustainability and then they end up hating it even more and I'm just left frustrated. Uh, would you pay for a guide that teach, would teach you how to be more persuasive and actually get your friends to the sustainability side? Yes. There's his product. Talking to the end paying customer. So now he's creating a report, a book, an ebook on how to effectively persuade people to be more into the sustainability things. And every person in sustainability he's talking to absolutely loves this. Like, and they would pay for it. Okay, so like, see how this, you see how this starts to make sense? Like, you just extract ideas from a market, 